The 2018 NASCAR season kicks off Sunday with the Daytona 500. I'm joined at the desk with our two racing experts, David Flint and Emmanuel Tobe, to give you the insider knowledge on this upcoming season. So guys, big race coming up, huh? Certainly is. Maybe the biggest. We got some newcomers coming into the race. So Manny, what's a newcomer that you think could make a splash? So I'm going to have to go with the 20-year-old from Charlotte, North Carolina, William Byron. To me, he's just so talented, and he's shown that he's really quick to adapt. Uh, look at what he's done the past two years in the NASCAR uh, Camping World Series truck, uh, truck Series, as well as in the NASCAR X Infinity Series. I mean, he was the division, the driver championship, as well as 22 top 10 finishes out of 33 races. That's 66% of his races he's finished in the top 10. He's so talented. He's so good. He's on a really good team with the uh, Hendrick Motorsports team, and he's just such a good racer. Very good pick, but I've got to go with Darrell Wallace Jr. You've got the first full-time African-American cup driver in over a generation now. He's driving the 43 car for Richard Petty. He's in the most historic car, arguably, in NASCAR history. He's very marketable, not just because of the fact that he's a minority, but has a great podcast with his fellow driver and fellow rookie, Ryan well, rookie in the Penske car for Ryan Blaney. And he's just an all-around great driver that I think is really going to show up well in that 43 car being a single car team this year at RPM. I mean, um, I was going to say, I mean, he's a great driver and all, but uh, when I just look at, when you just see Byron race, you just see this kind of fire in his eyes. Like, you see that yeah, he really Yeah, but William Byron it. is in the same scenario that Joey Logano found himself in. Joey was 18, replacing Tony Stewart in the 20. William Byron is 20 years old taking over Jeff Gordon's old car a couple years removed now to 24. It didn't work for Logano. He got a career reboot at Penske. But what about so Chase Elliott? Chase Elliott drove the 24 last well, year. Well, let me ask you real good. quick. If Byron's not winning, then who is your winner going to be? For the 500, yep. I'm going to go with Chase Elliott in now that nine car. His dad made that number famous, won a title in it. Chase won the, what was then the Nationwide, now Xfinity title in it in 2014. That name name and number are iconic with one another. The nine card Bill Elliott with Harry Melling, with Ray Evernham, and now Rick Hendrick and Chase Elliott in that nine card together, they're gonna be unstoppable, especially at the play track. So I agree that the, the legacy of the number is really important, but for me, I gotta say someone who, speaking of legacy, has a big one, Brad Keselowski. I mean, if you look at what he's done in the Dotana 500, he's never won it, but he has six restrictor plate wins, which is top, which is the most among all active drivers, and as well as he's overdue a Daytona 500 victory. I mean, if you just see how he's raced last year, you can tell that he kind of struggled at places, but to me, this is his race right now. Like, he wants it. It's I think gonna he's going to be a great it. race for him, but you got to keep in mind, Daytona, honestly, is the luck of the draw. If you're in the middle of the pack, in the middle of the race at Daytona, and somebody in front of you messes up, he could take 20 guys with him. You need to be at the front at the beginning and be at the front at the end, and the best way to do that is be in those fast 100 cars, I think. It's going to be an interesting race. It will be. A lot of exciting stuff to come this weekend. NASCAR is not the only sport that's starting up. Mason will be joined at the desk to discuss the upcoming baseball season right after this.